Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now, today is going to be watering the past day, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some phosphogen. So I'll do the TDS and the pH and all that on it. I've just done the pH on my uh, tap water, rainwater, and my RO water, and the readings were the tap water was 7.2 pH with a, a TDS reading of 226 parts per million. The rainwater is 6.4 pH with a reading of 33 parts per million and the RO water is 6.5 pH with a reading of just 2 parts per million. Now here's my RO unit which is a 4 stage unit uh, we can see the blue pipe on the left is the water coming in from the uh, the uh, kitchen tap uh, and then it goes through this one which is the sediment takes all the bits and pieces out then it passes through the carbon block filter up into the membrane which only lets water molecules through and then it's polished in this uh, resin. Now I'm really happy about this. This has been running for four years and I haven't changed anything and the, uh, as I said previously, the, uh, the PPM is only uh, two. So uh, that's pretty, pretty good. It's still working fantastic. It cost me about 70 quid this, about four years ago, so uh, I'm quite happy with it. Well, I've got my bucket of uh, RO water there. It's still cold, so I'm waiting for the kettle boiling to uh, put some uh, warm water in to get it up to about 23 degrees. And this is the feed I'm going to put in. It's phosphogen. I haven't got it in the box. It got a bit wet, I had to throw it away. But I'm only going to put sort of half a teaspoonful in two gallons of water and I want the reading to be uh, no more than uh, 180 well I've got the uh, water ready now it's got uh, a temperature of 24 degrees centigrade and it's got a TDS reading of 172 parts per million that's with the phosphogen now in all my years of keeping orchids, I've never bothered about the NPK of things. And I've just looked it up, and the NPK of phosphogen is 14, 10, 27. Now, I don't know whether that's good or bad, but the phosphogen is, uh, it's been manufactured for fruit trees, vegetables, anything like that. So I think if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for orchids. So I just do it at less than 180 parts per million and uh, as you see they're doing fine. I don't use any commercial fertilizers at all. You know, orchid commercial uh, fertilizers that is. So nothing now more remains but to uh, start watering. Now I'll probably use all these parameters of watering for, uh, you know, with the phosphogen, uh, probably twice a month and once a month nothing but uh, uh, Epsom salts at again less than 180 parts per million uh, all in between that will all be flushing so I might get flushed oh five six times this month and watered three times and fed three times so uh, what we'll do is pick this plant up which is a Sandrianum bit of water Bore it through, making sure I don't wet the leaves. Give it a good flushing. Now we all know this is uh, 172 parts per million. So uh, I'll read it after I've flushed a few. That's a Sandrianum. And this one will be an angel hair, which is, uh, what is it? What is it? It's in Swithin. 
across the uh, sandry enum. Exactly the same with that, making sure you wet it all the way through. You can see it's a very light mix because as soon as I touch it, the water runs straight through. So they dry out very quickly, especially having them on a, on a hot sand bed, which is uh, on the 25 degrees, 24 seven. Now I've just used the water to water all these 19 plants along here. So now we'll just uh, test the, uh, the water to see how much the TDS has gone up. Now if it hasn't gone up much, then that shows the beauty of uh, flushing. So we'll just have a look what it is. The water's gone down evidently because there's some in the pots. And the TDS reading is put it on hold. So it was 172 when we started, and I flushed all those, and it's now only at 192. So it's just gone up 20 parts per million after flushing, so it's at 19 uh, plants. Well, it just shows the benefit of regular flushing of your plants to get rid of the salts. So that's what I'd advise to do for everybody. Well, I've watered all my paths now with uh, that phosphogen. And uh, this afternoon I'll come in and I'll flush them all on the same day. So uh, that's why I can keep the salts down. Regular flushing, I can't emphasise enough the, uh, the importance of it. So keep flushing your uh, plants, whether they be paths, frags or whatever they are, just keep flushing them. So I'll continue watering a lot more of my paths and uh, tomorrow will be the turn of the frags. So until then I hope uh, this has been beneficial to some people and uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.